Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I am the Fire Escape Griller. Today I'm gonna to tell you five things you should know that I've learned over the past month of owning and using a Weber Q griddle. And this marks the last video that I'm gonna make in the Weber Q griddle series, at least for a while. Okay, so let's hop right into this video with the first thing you should know about the Weber Q griddle is it is small. This shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone because the Weber Q 1000 is small and the Weber Q 1200 is small, but you need to be realistic. If you're going on a camping trip and you need to cook breakfast for a large amount of people, a whole family, it's gonna take a while. This griddle is small and I really could only fit three strips of bacon on it at one time without cutting the bacon in half and rearranging it like a puzzle. So be realistic, this is a small griddle. The second thing you should know about the Weber Q griddle is it is greasy. I made a lot of food on here and a lot of it came out greasy. There's just no way for the fat to render down into the flames. I mean, it just stays right there on the griddle. Especially when you're making burgers, that grease kind of splashes around, splashes all over the place. And this might actually be one time when you don't want to use 80-20 beef, you might want to use 85-15, or dare I say, even use ground sirloin to make burgers on your griddle. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for that, but the griddle is very greasy. And that brings me to my next point, which is number three. When you get this griddle, you can expect your bacon intake to go skyrocketing. It's gonna go through the roof. You're gonna eat a lot more bacon because it's fun to make and it's of course delicious, it's bacon, but it's a lot of fun to make. And since I bought this griddle, I've eaten quite a bit more bacon than I usually do. So if you're watching your bacon intake and you have high cholesterol, you need to take this into consideration before you purchase the Weber Q griddle. Number four, the griddle runs hot. So if you're cooking with butter, and you're preheating to medium or high heat, you should know that that butter is definitely going to burn. When you're cooking with butter, you have to cook on a low heat because this griddle runs very hot. And number five, the fifth thing you should know about the Weber Q griddle is that if you have a gas stove, you can actually use the griddle on your stovetop. The thing you have to watch out for are the two little drain holes. You don't wanna get grease all over your stove and all over your countertop. I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but you can do it, and I thought you should know. So those are five things to know about the Weber Q griddle. I really love how the food tastes coming off this thing. It's fun to use, it's really tasty, but like I said, it is kind of greasy. But let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and of course, keep on grilling.